Hey guys, this is my tank, ND Aquatics, uh, 410 litres, 64 inches by 18 inches by 24, in white, obviously. So Malawi Mabuna set up, using granite rock, which is seen massively throughout the lake. And one of the main reasons why you get female orange blotch. If you're the bornies, especially. Because they're very well camouflaged against a rock. Substrate I'm using uh, crushed coral. And I don't know whether it's the same, but it was uh, a bag of coral aragonite. It was a lot finer than any crushed coral uh, coral gravel I've seen. So I just mix it in with the two. Just give them something finer to sift through. Uh, it's an APS 6,000 litre per hour wave maker. And a 3,000. As an Aquatics Aqua Red digital display here it's just with the temperature of the tank. It's a uh, bane of my life, an annoying scratch that I'd done in about a week after having the tank. I was uh, pretty mad at myself, but it was my own fault. Tank boss Masoni Reef showing off. He likes to get in front of a camera. And so does this fella, believe it or not. Alpha Kobe. Beautiful. Filters. Um, I've got two APS 2000 external filters. Filter the brim with Alpha Grog, Matrix, Purigen, and a coarse to fine sponge setup. The Purigen, fantastic. I believe it's fantastic, Phil. I've, you've seen it before, but that's sort of like the tank clarity. No bits floating around. It's just they do a good job as well, the uh, APS filters. I can't knock them. Silent running. Just the media you get with them can be a little bit second rate. I change the ceramic rings and the biobles because there's much better biomedia out there. Lighting the setup. These were custom made by Dave Newbold. But anybody with a bit of confidence can go out and buy these modules from eBay, do the job himself. I've got two white, one blue, and one of the white ones I haven't switched on at the moment because I sort of just enjoy that sort of lighting at the moment. As you can see, it does a lovely job. That's an APS LED tube. They offer a nice uh, red LED. Because I have a blue and white setup. I believe the red's important. This side, the red LED's on. And I believe you can see a difference between the two sides. So that's with the red LEDs. That's without. I'm pretty sure I'm not just convincing myself. I may be. No, you can definitely see a difference. Beautiful fish, Midlands Malawi. Pretty much all of them are from Midlands Malawi. Apart from the Trophy Ops Redfin Kakuza. And I've got a few young, long pelvic Madokas. Beautiful Mpanga. There's one Mpanga. And I've got another male. There really is no difference between the two. 
They are both very well coloured. And they both let each other just get on with it. Which is always nice. I've had them from young. Uh, Tank Boss, Metria, Gleam and Mace, Only Reef. I've got a group of five in there. There's one. There's another one just coming through. It's a little bit blue at the moment. Trophy Ops Mauve Magunga. Not much Mauve on them, but they will... They will colour up soon. MCAT Fuel Borny. One of them. Where's the other? There he is. Hanging around at the top of the tank. One of the nicest females in my opinion. It's a red fin Kakuza female. Beautiful tail. And there's another M cat. He's beautiful. Not the dominant one out of the two, but I keep rooting for him. And a aquarium favourite of mine is uh, the ACI. I just think they're beautiful. There's a reason why they're a common fish. It's particularly nice when you get a good example. Because unfortunately these fish have been bred to death. So it's always important to buy from a good breeder. Then you end up with beauties. It's not even a dominant mace only. So yeah, that's my tank. Uh, thanks for watching. That's the first review I've ever done. I don't think I'll ever do another one. But here it is.